This is a tick, a tiny blood-sucking member of the spider family. Unfed, adults are about three millimetres in length and they swell up when engorged with blood. Nymphs and larvae, however, are tiny and can be easily overlooked. We have about 20 different species of tick in the UK, and this one, Ixodus ricinus, is the main one that bites humans. Although known as the sheep tick, it also feeds on deer, cattle and other wild animals, and also your pets, making it widespread throughout the countryside. Ticks can be found at any time of year, but are particularly active from spring through to autumn, when most of us head outside. If infected, ticks can cause diseases such as Lyme disease by transmitting the bacteria Borrelia burgdorferi. It's important to remember that not all ticks are infected, and you must remain aware and know what to do if you are bitten. To find out more about ticks and how to avoid them, let's go out into their natural environment. Ticks are found in many different types of places, such as woodlands, grasslands, heaths and urban parks. They wait on the tips of vegetation and long grasses for a host to brush past. Ticks don't jump, but they walk along their host to find a suitable place to attach and feed. They have a natural anaesthetic in their saliva, which means the host won't always notice they've been bitten. They also have very specialised mouth parts with backward-facing spines, which means they can be difficult to remove. If you find you've been bitten by a tick, it's important to remove it as soon as possible. The sooner you remove the tick, the less chance there is of transmission of a disease. Take your tweezers and grab your tick as close to the skin as possible. Pull gently, upwards and out, making sure you take the mouth parts of the tick with you, as they may be left behind and cause irritation. Make sure you don't aggravate the tick by squeezing it or burning it with a cigarette or match, and don't cover it with substances like olive oil or Vaseline. You can even use a tick remover tool, like this one, if you have one to hand, but tweezers work just as well. Most ticks do not carry Lyme disease, but if you have been bitten by a tick, it's important to keep an eye on the place where you were bitten for several weeks, just in case a rash develops. This could be a symptom of Lyme disease, and you should consult your doctor, giving details of when and where you were bitten by a tick. Symptoms of Lyme disease can include a slowly expanding circular reddish rash, flu-like feeling, fatigue, muscle and joint pain. Untreated it can be serious, but it can be treated with antibiotics. Make sure to go and see your GP if you start feeling unwell and tell him you've participated in outdoor activities. There are simple steps you can take to protect yourself from any unwanted passengers. Stick to the paths, make sure you don't walk through dense vegetation and grassland. Try and cover up as much as possible and wear light-coloured clothing so ticks can be easily seen. And use insect repellents 